The Norfolk School Board is the only one in Hampton Roads whose members are not are, are appointed. They are not elected. Residents upset with council-appointed school board think enough is enough, and they are starting a petition drive to change it. Yeah, report, political reporter Andy Fox has been checking into the citizen drive, and he joins us now with the politics of a school board, Andy. Stephanie and Nicole, citizen democracy is, mm. the, is what they want. They want the right to choose right here, the right to choose their own leaders. The Norfolk Citizens for an Elected School Board filed a petition with the Norfolk Circuit Court. The group has until July 18th to gather at least 11,865 legitimate approved signatures to get this issue on the ballot. All things being equal, I would rather elect my representative. It's that simple. I, I don't know how it's that. That's it. Simple. That's it. Norfolk Federation of Teachers President Tom Calhoun wants to go to the polls on Election Day and decide who he thinks should sit on the Norfolk Public School Board. This is not Norfolk uh, School Board's children. They're ours. Currently, the Norfolk City Council decides who sits on the school board. It becomes inherently and politically true that everyone on the school board is somehow connected to city council members. I have one motive here. We should be the ones to decide what kind of school board we have. It is not the city council that says you don't need to vote on this. That is extremely dangerous. Heading up the Norfolk Citizens for an Elected School Board, Patrick Smith. Candidates, whoever wants to run for uh, school board, to come to us, to the town hall meetings, and tell us what are what is your vision? What do you want for our children? And I want to say, hey, I agree with you. But if I don't agree with you, I want to have a choice. If the petition drive is successful, the ballot question in November could read, shall the method of selecting the school board be changed from appointment by the governing body to direct election by the voters? What matters to me is this is a representative democracy. For years, voters have kicked around the election of school board members, but recently the quick dismissal of school superintendent Dr. Richard Bentley ignited the ballot fire once again. The city council appointed board claimed Bentley's vision for the school system and their vision were at odds. Calhoun realized he's at odds with the school board. Okay, nobody else knows what their vision Now you see my point? See, he didn't match their vision and the citizens of Norfolk don't even know what their vision is for our children. Now, they tried this last year and it came up way short with the signatures. If the group gets the approved signatures together by July 18th, then it could very well be a binding referendum vote on Election Day, November 6th. The same day we elect a U.S. Senator and the President of the United States. Voter turnout, heavy. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side. And the Norfolk Citizens for an Elected School Board will hold a town hall meeting on the issue next weekend. That's going to be Saturday, January 14th at 10 a.m. at the Pretlow Library in Ocean View.